Okay, for this part of our process, you're going to take your piece of vinyl, uh, you cut it off the roll. That's pretty simple. I don't think I needed to show you that. You want to make sure that you cut it to a big enough size. I'm actually trying to reuse the end of a piece that my wife used already. Once you take it, you need to push it down to make sure it sticks to the board, and then we're going to put it into the printer. So what we wind up doing, this is going to be a multi-step process between the uh, printer or the cutter and the, um, and the computer. So in this case, what I'm going to do, and I'm doing this one handed, I'm just going to get that lined up there. Then I'm going to go back to my computer and I'm going to choose continue. Now you'll see it's connecting to my printer or my cutter. Once it does that, um, it's basically telling me to load the mat, which I've already done. Then I'm going to come over here, and this there's a couple of steps. One is, you see, they do make it easy. The button is blinking. This is the button that brings the mat inside the cutter. So first I do that, and that sets the cutter up so it's in place. Once we do that, now you see that this... Um, the C is blinking. This is to start the cutting process. You press the C and it should start the cutting process. Now I'm going to fan over to the computer. You'll see on the computer it's controlling the cutter. It's telling the cutter what to do and the cutter will be cutting out my image now. I'm going to let that go. This is going to take a few minutes and I'm sure you don't want to sit here and listen to me talk for the next few minutes while this cuts out. But once this completes, we'll pop this back on and we can see what it looks like. All right, we're almost done. Right now we're at 92%. And we are at 100%. Once you get to this part, uh, you'll see we have our arrow light is flashing again. I'm going to press that, and that releases the mat for us. Now, if you can see that, the image is now cut out on our piece of vinyl. Uh, the next step is going to be we need to pull off the background. Um, there's actually a couple of tools to help us, which I have somewhere on my table. I will find them and um, then we'll pull off the vinyl background and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, there's a little pick tool that you use um, which helps you pull out the extra little pieces which of course I don't know exactly where my wife left it so I'm gonna have to look around for that. But I can do this part um, without it which is basically you're gonna peel back this piece of vinyl. I may need two hands to do this so but let's see. If I could at least start the process one-handed. You need to make sure that the letters do not come up. If you can see that, see how the letters are staying on the page? That's what I need to do. I'm actually going to put this down, though, because I do need two hands. But I'll show you what it looks like in a minute. Okay, I was able to pull that off. Um, that's the back side of the piece I took off. You do want to be very careful with the fact of... Um, that no letters come with you. Uh, every once in a while, if you're not paying attention, you all of a sudden you'll realize you're missing a C or you're missing an H. Now what I have to do is I have to go in with my pick tool and I have to clean up like the middle of the uh, zero and the 50 and then the S. So we're gonna take our tool and we're gonna clean that up um, so we can transfer the image. So the last part of this to clean it up I've been working with is this little pick tool. And you use this to pick out the pieces. I've basically gone through and I've done it all. But you basically use this to pick out your little pieces. Um, you need to do that before you transfer the image. Then we're going to get a piece of transfer tape. And that will be the next step to transfer the image. 